Welcome to the Zesty Ginger Podcast. We are Megan and Dr. Alex. We are here for transformation, yours, ours, and the collective, personal and professional for practitioners, but not just any transformation, compassionate transformation. Because between the two of us, we have seemed to have done things the painful way. Let our pitfalls become your stepping stones. We aren't afraid to share our raw and vulnerable truths in order to help you transform your thinking, your body, your heart, and your soul. Combining 15 years of functional medicine with brain-based habit change to lead you to the best life possible in a compassionate way. Compassion, yes, yet plan to roll up your sleeves. Transformation requires your participation. And a quick reminder, this information is not meant to diagnose, manage, or treat disease. Always consult with your doctor, not this doctor, before making changes. Now let's get into the episode. All righty, we are back again for more of our possibility series. I imagine at this point in the series, if you've been listening along all the way from the beginning, we are on part 12 that you have probably joined us for our event in January in Virginia Beach. If you're anywhere nearby or anywhere that a plane flies to or maybe drives to, I don't know. (laughs) I had imagined that this was going to be like everyone local. I was going to finally get all my local Virginia Beach friends together. And then as we put the information out that we were doing this training, like the first 10 people who signed up were all, they're all flying. (laughs) <laughs> there's like someone's flying in from Portland we have people from New York and I immediately fent- felt this total sense of gratitude and knowing that this kind of event is what we're meant to be doing because people are willing and able to fly from anywhere in the world you know who cares it's in Virginia Beach we get to go anywhere and be anywhere and do anywhere anything which is leading to all the possibilities so hopefully you're joining us already if you've not yet signed up Keep in mind that even if you win this challenge, we will reimburse you. So go ahead, sign up. It's sdginger.com forward slash Jan, J-A-N for January. Super simple links that you can remember while you're, whatever you're doing. Hopefully you're, maybe you're out walking, maybe you're driving. I don't know. Wherever you're listening to my lovely voice, we would be honored to see you in person. We have an amazing sound healer happening on Friday night, and we have a whole event of connection, activities, trainings, habit, conscious habits, integrating all the bodies, lots of cool actual hands-on activities so that your brain can stay engaged and we can bring this into our body, not just a bunch of knowledge, not just a bunch of knowledge, this is actually from knowing. This is actually from integrating and implementing this in our own lives. So this is not just something that you read in a book. This is things that have worked and they work well. And we repeat them, not just with ourselves, with other people all the time. Cool? Cool. Today is going to be the shortest episode in the world (laughs) because today is about the power of quiet time. Y'all heard that saying when people are like, well, don't just sit there, do something. (laughs) When I heard that, I, at this point, was really into my meditation practice, and I was like, well, what if we made it just, don't just do something, sit there. That's cool, right? A little bit of the opposite. Because have you ever hurried through something and then created like 10 times the work for yourself? (laughs) This used to happen to us every single time. For those of you who've been around and you've come to Dr. Alex and I when we do our four-day habit challenges and we're doing them live we're next to each other we have we have microphones on we have cameras set up right so the little technology involved and every time because I would be in charge of like starting the video and linking up the thing with the Facebook and the zoom and all that and because it's not exactly my forte of course I've learned tons of it I don't consider myself to be a technical genius although now of course I am Every time I would get nervous, right, I'd go into this fight or flight mode of like, oh my gosh, what if I do something weird and push something weird? So then I would start clicking things ahead of time to prepare for the weird thing that I might do. And in the process, every single time (laughs) from that state of stress, I would actually create 
a bigger problem than we even could have potentially had. We probably had zero problem coming. I would, I have done the weirdest things of like completely deleting Zoom or completely deleting our PowerPoint, our presentation, right? Because I'm in that state of stress. So if you've done that before where you're like, if I had just sat for literally like 30 seconds and thought about this versus like immediate, maybe it's social media or maybe it's responding to a text. You know how we think that people, we think that other people think that we need to respond immediately. Well, we don't. And actually it's fabulous to start to train people that you you won't and that um, that is not how you operate and give them a good window. Maybe within three days I respond to texts. Right? We train the people around us. If we immediately respond, they will expect that. And I'm not saying not to if you're there and you want to respond. It's just that when you are constantly going for what someone else needs and wants of you versus you sitting down and creating quiet, open space for you, that's very different. All of our the best business mentors we've ever had and a lot of people we learn from online will say, Create space in the morning where you are not touching your phone, your technology, your Instagram, your YouTube, your whatever before what some people say 10 a.m., some people say noon. The idea here is open space, white space, space to think, space to be. You know, the best way to have possibility, all the possibility in the world is to have more open space. Just 10 minutes. Can you all hear commit to 10 minutes of quiet time. And if that's giving you a feeling, I want you to think about that. This is 10 minutes out of your day. There's lots of amazing examples of people in history who took time away to do nothing and then got a million more things done. They wrote the books, they gave the speeches, they did the things because they actually took the time to get clear and straight on what it was that they want. They took the, the time to tap in to the divine, to tap in to the knowing, to tap into what their unconscious mind already knew or the collective consciousness already knew and use that instead of fighting against and going through this fight or flight response, the animal brain response of, well, what should I do? What I wanted to do was leave 10 minutes in the space in the middle of this podcast <laughs> And really just force you all to sit here for 10 minutes. And then I realize there's a good chance you will just hit pause because who knows what you're doing. So instead, I'm going to ask you all to commit. And can you say out loud, yes, Megan, I will do 10 minutes. Yes, Megan, I will do 10 minutes every day. How about for the next week? Maybe the rest of the series. Can we commit to that? 10 minutes. Go sit for 10 minutes in complete silence. We do this inside of our groups in different formats, and we have had crazy amazing feedback from this. So if you're thinking, eh, this is one, not one of the things I'm going to do, let's think about that. Are you afraid of what's going to come up in your brain in those 10 minutes? Do you have a process to move those thoughts? If not, I highly suggest that you find some. There's a million out there. We teach a lot of them. Okay, go sit for silence in 10 minutes. I also didn't want to put the 10 minutes in the middle of, of this episode because it is very important that you continue to listen to the, all the possibility that we share at the end of these episodes from our lovely ladies. So here it is, some possibility from our ladies, and then go to your 10 minutes. Set your timer as soon as this is over. All right, we love you. You would have asked me three months ago if I would be attending an in-person training, leaving my husband and kids for a whole week. I would have told you you were crazy. Me, leave my kids. It hadn't happened in eight years. So why would it happen now? Just the thought of leaving my family by myself and for myself brought up really intense emotions and thoughts ranging from that would be selfish. It's your job to take care of them to thinking that if I leave, something tragic is going to happen. I believed it 100%, even though I didn't exactly know where those thoughts were coming from. When people asked why I signed up for the training, I didn't have a clear reason for going. It just it just felt right. It felt like the right thing, the next right thing that I needed to do. I mean, I hoped that it would help me as a mom, and I, I trusted that it would prove useful in my business. I had no idea that it would benefit me at such a deep level. 
because I thought I was doing pretty good before. As an introvert, I stepped out of my comfort zone the moment I stepped into the door of that training. And through learning the tools, meeting the other amazing women, and going through the compassionate transformation process, I discovered the power of the unconscious mind, that it's always protecting us, and that it's working to keep us safe. So my, I learned that my brain had connected an event in my childhood that felt unsafe with me leaving for a trip, me leaving my family for a trip. So it made sense. That's why I was having such strong emotions. My brain was trying to keep me safe. Now that I'm back home and I've learned these tools and skills, I've been able to use them with my kids. I've completely shifted how I work through my emotions and how I guide my kids to do the same. I'm incorporating these tools in my business and I'm sharing my experience and owning my worth and value. I've learned that we all have some sort of trauma and that healing happens in layers. So I'm forever grateful for Megan and Alex to put together such an incredible training experience. But I wouldn't have been able to experience it if I hadn't said yes to myself. So I'm so grateful to have been able to go to this and I'm so proud of myself for saying yes to me. Thanks for coming out to hang with us on the podcast. It is our goal to transform the way women are treated in healthcare. And we need your help. We need your help to get the word out. We have a lofty goal of 1 million downloads. And we know that as this podcast grows, we're going to be able to reach more women, get more amazing speakers for you, and bring the most cutting-edge information. If you found these podcasts helpful, please take a moment to text 5 women you know the link to the series. We appreciate your help so much. Can't wait to see you next time.